Planet Dolan. From using the wrong word in a sign to parade floats cotton a lude, we count 12 of the craziest Thanksgiving fails. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. How are we doing today? And today, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Number 12. Have you ever seen a turkey hooker? And no, it's not what you might be thinking. It's an actual cooking utensil. We weren't about to make a joke about the bird on the street corner that's strutting its stuff in. I can get it. Hope you guys got that one. The turkey hooker makes it easy to lift your Thanksgiving bird and place it in the cooking pan. A utensil like this that helps you avoid touching a raw turkey doesn't really make a lot of sense, as you will eventually need to touch the bird at some point. Sure, it's important to not spread the potentially dangerous raw juices all over the kitchen, but cooks can also wear gloves. Or maybe, just maybe, wash their hands thoroughly and frequently. Maybe they can do that. Number 11. All right, now to be fair, Thanksgiving isn't a Christian holiday, but it's still an American holiday and it's presumed that this Catholic school is located in the USA. Americans know or should know that Thanksgiving is in November, not October. Also, they apparently don't know that Thanksgiving is celebrated on the last Thursday. The sign reads, October 13th. Yet it's funny they somehow still got Halloween's date right. Number 10. What is it with schools and Thanksgiving sign fails? Here we see a sign that belongs to a high school announcing Thanksgiving break. Fair enough, but take a closer look at the sign. The wrong form of the word was used. Instead of B-R-E-A-K, they spelled what makes your car stop. Who knows, maybe it was a clever way of saying, students are putting the brakes on learning so they can celebrate Thanksgiving. Number nine. Bakeries and grocery stores will put out specially made pastries that are appropriate for the time of the year. These can include cupcakes and cookies. Take a look at this cupcake meant to be in the form of a turkey. We'd say it doesn't look like a turkey, or part of it has a phallic symbol, but we're not. We're not because we can. The cupcake was turned to the side and wrecked, making it look like a lump of dog crap on a white muffin with a few candy corn pieces thrown in for a sweet taste. Though when taken out of its package, it probably looks like a turkey with its left side run over by a car. Number eight. Speaking of the products grocery store bakeries put out, here's another one. It's obviously another baker's idea of a turkey, and it's actually not that bad. But take a closer look. The turkey looks absolutely pissed, but anyone would be if they were about to be killed and served with stuffing and mashed potatoes. Also, look at the heart-shaped packaging. While Catholic schools apparently think Thanksgiving is in October, grocery stores apparently think Valentine's Day is in November. Oh, and if you look just below the mad turkey's eyes, it kind of looks like a demon's tail. Number seven. Yet another turkey pastry from a grocery store. But upon first glance, everything looks normal. The pastry is in normal packaging, the turkey doesn't look pissed off, and well, it looks like a turkey. But there's something about this cake. Oh, is that a phallic symbol we see? If you look at its front, it appears the turkey has grown eyes and a beak on its junk. Upon further inspection, it doesn't even look finished. Don't turkeys have a waddle? Wait, no need to add a waddle to that, never mind. Number 6. There's no doubt that most stores should be closed on Thanksgiving Day or any major holiday for that matter. People should spend these holidays with their loved ones. This business, though unclear what kind, was kind enough to be closed for Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday. For the most part, it's a normal looking sign, but read the word Thanksgiving and what do you see? They decided to add an apostrophe between the K and S, which is confusing when you think about it. What belongs to the word thank? That's what the apostrophe implies anyways. Number five. Don't you think that stuffing your face with turkey, stuffing mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie is sexy? No? Well, the people at this strip club seem to think so. The location of this place is unclear, but the content of the sign isn't. The sign clearly says, Pilgrims and Indians, come join us for a Thanksgiving like no other. Fully nude showgirls breaking bread and laps, come help baste the turkey. Put the butter on the buns, and don't forget the fresh pumpkin pie with extra whipped cream. No, we don't think those three X's and extra was an error. Going to a strip club on Thanksgiving Day probably isn't the best way to celebrate, but to each their own. Number four. Other than a large meal and gathering with loved ones, Thanksgiving is also known for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and their various floats, but fails have also happened during the parade. One year, they decided to have a Pikachu float, Nothing wrong there, as there were probably many Pokemon fans watching it. 
It looks like Pikachu got a little tired from floating down the streets of New York City and literally crashed in the middle of the parade. It's not known how the float deflated. Number 3 Another fail that happened at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade involving floats. Only this was before the parade. That doesn't mean several people weren't there to see it. Spider-Man must love the USA. He fights crime and saves the country citizens from harm. In fact, he loved his country so much he just had to give Uncle Sam a thorough rectal exam. Yeah, that's it. But all kidding aside, maybe next time the organizers were a little bit more aware of how the floats are organized before they become airborne. It's probably not the weirdest thing people have seen on the streets of New York City. I know how you guys got those human sized rats out there eating up your food and kicking you out your homes. Number 2 It's common knowledge that you can't have a Thanksgiving dinner without pie for dessert. More specifically, pumpkin pie. If you're one of those people who insist on baking your own, don't bake one the way these people did. While we don't know what exactly happened here, it does look like the pumpkin filling boiled over. What we do know is that it's definitely a fail. Obviously baking a pumpkin pie isn't feasible to these people. Maybe next time they should just buy one. They do get extra points for trying. Well, not really in my book. They shouldn't have tried it all. Number 1 No Thanksgiving fail list would be complete without an entry on burning the turkey, like this household did. So after they used the turkey hooker to put the bird on a baking pan, they decided they wanted to try their hands at making turkey jerky. It's highly doubtful, but you never know. At least they won't have to worry about getting food poisoning from an undercooked turkey. The general rule of thumb for cooking a turkey is 20 minutes per pound in a 350 degree oven and 10 to 15 minutes for a fresh one. Turkeys will also cook more evenly if they're not overflowing with stuffing. Hopefully your Thanksgiving will be fail free, but when it's not, it at least make for a good story, doesn't it? What's the most awkward family dinner you've ever had? Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Take care everybody, much love and appreciation, peace. Kevin had to put his name in for this competition, but was coincidentally in the audience while they were drawing the winners' names. When they announced the name Kevin Lewis, he went on stage and bashfully accepted their large novelty check. Casino officials soon realized the actual winner was a different Kevin Lewis from Cincinnati.